Welcome back to the Chrono Talk channel. In this video, I will talk about service intervals. So this is a very common question that people ask me over the channel or on Instagram or even personally, people that I know that have watches, they they very frequently they ask me, what are the recommended service intervals for my watch? So as you probably know, I like to explain things with more details than simply going to the point. Uh, basically, you have to understand that there is let's say three basic kinds of maintenance that your watch may need one is one is the complete service also called as overhaul or complete maintenance that is the where the watch uh, go through what the name like the name says a complete maintenance it's completely disassembled so you disassemble the, the case uh, you take out the case back, the crown, the tube, eventually the gaskets, the, the crystal, everything. Then you take out the movement and remove the hands, the dial, and disassemble every single part of the movement. Then you have to wash everything to remove the old oils and all the dirt. And then you reassemble everything, lubricate everything, um, replace the gaskets, and etc. Um then you may need a uh, water resistance service that may happen between the complete services and also you may need a simple battery change if you if you have a quartz watch so what is the importance of all of this and why to keep uh, uh, a determined interval between the services because very frequently your watch doesn't tell you that it's in need of a of an overhaul uh, it's it's a kind of a paradox but even uh, if your watch is of highest uh, higher quality usually it's it's designed to have the best accuracy possible in every situation and at the same time even if it's already uh, with the with the lubrication um, old or dirt or everything it's still keeping a very good time keeping it's still accurate even when the oils are bad or the movement is dirt so it it, it doesn't give any signs that it is is in need of an overhaul uh, and there where the where the risk starts because uh, like like in your car you know if you start to to you hear a strange noise and you keep going and going and going when you finally decide to take it to the mechanic you will discover that uh, it's a much more expensive repair than you expected because one part started to affect the other and so on and the same thing can happen to your watch so uh, it doesn't worth to wait to your watch to give a sign that it's not is not in good condition okay so this is the first thing to to have in mind secondly is that gaskets specifically gaskets they have a, they have a lifespan okay they can they can expire because they are elastic or plastic and uh, its sealing capability depends on its deformation when it lost the capability of the form or its elasticity you can lost the the ceiling of the of the parts that it makes contact so of course you start to have the risk of getting water inside the watch which is again also a very expensive repair because the watch starts to create a lot of oxidation and etc and another thing is that batteries also have uh, expiry dates. Specifically, the batteries, they have a ceiling to keep the chemicals inside. And even though uh, batteries use it on watches, they, are, they use a silver oxide chemical inside. It's not like an alkaline battery that we use every day in everything else. But still, the, the chemical is still 
corrosive. And if the seal, the sealing of the of the battery breaks, uh, the chemical can leak, and it can corrode the especially the electronic circuit of the movement. And what happens is that a simple battery change can turn into a complete service that can cost like 10 times the, the price of a simple battery change. And also you have to replace the, the electronic circuit, which is also, it, it can be expensive, all right? So that's the importance of following, uh, keeping the maintenance within certain intervals. And finally, what are the intervals? Uh, my first recommendation is follow the manual of the watch or the manufacturer or the brand recommendations for your model. But I understand that it, you don't have this information. Uh, sometimes you don't have the manual anymore or even some brands doesn't let this information very clear on their websites. So uh, what I can tell you, tell you is that usually the brands recommend a complete service every uh, four years or every five years, depending on the brand. And even some brands recommend uh, every three years if your watch have a, a high beat movement, like for example, the Zenith El Primero that works at 36 uh, beats per hour. Uh, anything that is higher than 28 and 800, 28,800 bits per hour is considered a high bit like the Zenith El Primero. And also some Seiko at the high bits that also work uh, with 36,000 bits per hour. I, I, I don't know exactly what is the Seiko recommendation on their manual, but I know that Zenith, for, Zenith, for example, they recommend uh, to make a complete service every three years on those watches. Uh, so if you don't know exactly what to follow, you can use, I can recommend you every five years and also have in mind that usually the, the manufacturers, they expect you to use your watch every day. And we know that usually today, uh, we don't use our mechanical watch every day. Uh, so if you don't subject your watch to everyday use, and not to extreme conditions like uh, too much vibration, too much heat, or too much cold, you can eventually extend this to every seven years, okay? It's perfectly okay to make complete service every seven years if you don't subject your watch to extreme conditions, okay? Uh, and if, he, if it's a quartz watch, most manufacturers, they don't, they don't make dif a difference between mechanical or quartz watch. But if it's a quartz watch, you can also extend a little bit the, the, the service interval because it's not so dependent on lubrication. Uh, it, actually, it, it depends on lubrication to make the, the battery l last as long as it have to but it, you doesn't have the risk of having uh, wear on the parts of a, of a quartz watch, okay? It's very rare to have wear in the wheels or the axles of the wheels of a, of a mechanic, of, of, of a quartz watch, okay? Uh, usually if your quartz watch is in need of, a, of, a, of an overhaul, usually starts to lose time because the, the, the wheels starts to grip and it doesn't have a power to move the hands. So that's usually the, the, the symptom of a quartz watch that it's in need of lubrication. But it's not so critical. So uh, if it's a quartz watch, yes, it's okay to, to make a complete service every seven years. But uh, again, if it's a watch that is highly water resistant, or if you use your watch uh, on water, uh, like diving and etc., then uh, I recommend you to at least check the water resistance every two years or maybe every year. Okay, this is also a recommendation of many uh, manufacturers' manuals. They recommend if you use your watch. Uh, on water, and of course it have to be a, a watch 
prepare for that, usually a diving watch. If it's a diving watch that you really use on water, then you have to at, at least check and eventually replace the gaskets every year or every two years, okay? So you have to do this between the intervals for complete services. Uh, it, it doesn't worth the risk of getting water inside your watch because it can turn to be a very expensive repair, okay? Uh, so check your watch, your water resistance, every two years or every year but of course if it's a watch that is not water resistant or is just um, resistance to wash your hands and etc and you don't use on water then it's okay to skip this and only uh, keep attention to the complete service intervals and then finally you have the battery uh, also, as explained, battery have expiry dates, so I also recommend you to replace the batteries every two years, okay? Doesn't matter if there is still power on the battery or not, uh, it doesn't worth to wait until it uh, run out of juice completely to replace it, even because this is usually what causes the battery to leak, okay? Batteries have a, they have a characteristic that if a battery run out of power, but it's still under a closed circuit, the polarity between the, the negative and, and positive poles, they can reverse and it causes a kind of a short circuit inside the battery and it can generate, um, it, it can generate heat or gases inside the, this chemical that the battery tries to, to, to tries to explode it doesn't explode exactly but it, it tries to expand and it can break the the seal of the battery and then the the chemical leak and then it corrodes this the electronic circuit and etc so there is a very high risk of waiting to a battery to run completely out of po power to replace it so again it doesn't work it's better to replace the battery every two years, be it with power or without a power. Actually, if it's if it run out of power, you have to replace it as soon as possible. But usually if your watch is in good condition, it, most watches, modern watches are capable of having uh, two years of working autonomy for the, for the battery. It's okay, but anyway, replace the battery every two years because and even sometimes people ask me uh, what if i left the crown pool to to preserve the battery again it doesn't work because even if the crown is pulled uh, the the power consumption is much less but there that is still power consumption on the circuit and so the battery is, is still uh, draining bat draining power and the lifespan of the battery is still running okay it is it, still the, the expiry date you doesn't stop the expiry date of the battery the, the battery still have its lifetime going on and it can leak uh, the same way okay again it doesn't worth uh, the if you if you neglect the battery, replacement it can turn out to to become a very expensive repair okay and also uh, it's very important that you replace batteries only on the authorized repair centers as well as the the the, the water resistance checking i recommend you to to follow the authorized repair centers or uh, a watchmaker a very qualified watchmaker of your trust uh, that have adequate equipments and that use fresh batteries, okay? Uh, avoid uh, cheap battery changes as much as you can, okay? It doesn't work. Sometimes I know that some suppliers, they have a big stock of batteries and then those batteries start to get close to the expiry date. Then they sell those batteries much cheaper than the, the batteries that are good. Some professionals sometimes purchase these batteries for for a lower cost because they are close to the to the expiry date and sometimes they offer a cheap job uh, because of that. Okay, there is no free lunch, you know. Uh, so avoid 
cheap battery services as much as you can. This, this can be applied to everything, but especially uh, don't try to save some pennies with a cheap battery change because it can turn out to be a very expensive repair uh, in the end. So uh, look for your trusty watchmaker with fresh batteries and replace it every two years. Okay, well, that's it. I hope uh, this was clear enough. I hope you like it. If there is still any, any doubt on this subject, let me know on the, on the comments and keep following the channel.